Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get your PCSX2 PlayStation 2 emulator up and running with the Attract Mode front end. Stay tuned. Welcome to Harrison Hacks. Hey everybody, Harrison Hacks here. Let's go ahead and get our PCSX2 working in our Attract Mode front end. So if you go to the link in the description, uh, you're going to just see a bunch of text there that's going to be similar to what I have here. And we're going to want to highlight all of it, just like this. We're going to want to right click, copy, and then we're going to want to go into our track mode folder. If you haven't been following my guide, I'll link in the top right hand corner to the first video. And there's also another video getting Sega Dreamcast up and running as well. But we're going to go into where we have our attract mode installed. We're going to go into the emulators folder. We're going to right click, new, text document. And for right now, we'll just leave it alone. But we're going to open it up and right click and paste everything we just copied. So now what I like to do is highlight Sony PlayStation 2, just like this. Right click, copy. Then we'll go File, Save, Close. Now we're going to right click on our new text document, rename, right click again, paste, and it'll be Sony PlayStation 2.txt. We're going to change the .txt to .cfg and hit Enter. Do you want to change it? Yes. So now you're going to want to go ahead and download PCSX2. So in the description, I have a link to this page here. And the one you want to do is go to the drop down for the latest nightly and just hit download right here for Windows. Once it's done downloading, you're going to have a 7-zip file. And I will link to 7-zip if you don't have it installed so that you can right click. 7-zip, and you're going to want to extract 2. And it's going to give you this folder here. Now, I like to rename my folder to just PCSX2. And we're going to drag that and drop it into our Attract folder. Just like that. So we're going to go into Attract. We're going to go into our PCSX2 folder. Right click on a blank space, new, text document, and this one we're going to call portable dot, and instead of txt, we're going to put ini. Do you want to change it? Yes. So we can go ahead and run the emulator, and then we're going to just close this out. Now everything is in here. We have a BIOS folder we're going to need. So I'm going to snap it to the side. And I can't tell you where to get the BIOSes, but they're easy to find online. So I'm going to go into the BIOS folder. I'm going to highlight all of my BIOSes and put them into the BIOS folder. And I'm going to go back to my PC SX2. And I'm going to right click New folder games now you're going to have to have some games I cannot link to games unfortunately but you're going to want to open up your games folder I have two here in CHD format there we go so now I have games and BIOS so I'm going to run PCSX2 one more time and you can take off automatic updates if you want. My BIOS image, I just always use the bottom USA one. It's whatever you prefer. Now my game directory, I'm going to add. And we're in my PCSX2 folder, so I'm going to click Games, click Select Folder. Scan recursively, I don't have to, but you could if you wanted to. Next. 
this is where you want to set up your controller. So mine is an Xbox One controller. I'll just hit automatic mapping, select my X input controller, and it'll be good to go. And now we're complete. So there we go. We're going to close it out. But what we want to do here is go into our games folder and then we're going to highlight everything in the address bar just like this. We're going to right click, copy, and then let's go back to our attract folder. We'll go into emulators, Sony PlayStation 2.CFG, and we're going to paste this in our ROM path. paste. There we go. So now what we're going to want to do is go to the backslash before box art. We're going to right click, paste again. We're going to do the same thing for our cart art, paste. Same thing for snap, paste. And same thing for wheel, paste. We'll hit file, save. Now we have one more that we want to copy. So we're going to go into our attract folder, PCSX2, and we are going to copy the link address up here again. So here's the address bar. We're going to right click, copy, and then right at the executable before the backslash, make sure your cursor is flashing there. You're going to want to right click and paste. And there we go. So our emulator is configured. We're going to save, close, and now we can go ahead and launch our attract mode. So once inside attract mode, you're going to want to hit tab on your keyboard, and we're going to go to emulators, press enter. Then we can go down to Sony PlayStation 2, press enter, and from here I'm going to press up. So we're at the bottom, and we want to generate collection slash ROM list. Press enter. I've only got two games. Next thing you'll want to come down, go to scrape artwork. Press enter. And this could take a minute depending on how many games you're adding to the collection here. There we go. So I'm going to press escape, escape. And now I can press left or right to get to my next system. So here we have Sony PlayStation 2. So Home Alone didn't get any artwork. I will have a separate video on how to add your own artwork into attract mode. But if I go and run a game, it just takes a second here to launch up. And there we go. I'm going to exit out. So if you don't want it to ask you anymore, you press yes here one time. Then we're going to back out of attract mode. We're going to go into PC SX2, launch the emulator, go to settings, and we're just going to go to interface, confirm shutdown, no. We want to uncheck confirm shutdown. Then we'll hit close, close the emulator, and then we'll go back to our attract, launch a game. And then we'll exit out of the game. And this time it's clean exit. We're back to where we were. So that's how you get your PC SX2 running in the attract mode front end. Stay tuned for more tutorials on how to get your systems up and running with attract mode. Please like and subscribe, but most importantly, have a good day.